Okay. Hello, everybody. Today is November 30th. November 30th, 2022. <laughs> and we have a prophetic word for you. Um, <clears throat> first things first, I'll do some announcements. And why are you touching my paper, you little baby? <laughs> the announcements. <laughs> are um, in regards to Fire Tot that will be on Saturday, that is 8, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, Eastern Time? Yep, and it's 7, 7 p.m. Central. Um, so please join. It is free to join. Um, the classes um, are solely based on Holy Spirit and, you know, what the the route in which he has taken me thank you has taken me um to really to hear him how to hear him how to declare how to um release the anointing of the lord how to, how to do these things there's a how to but it's also um to get our foundations correct so that the lord can build upon us okay that is basically what it is um it's 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 all been by what Holy Spirit has taught me, how he has, um, and it's like raised me up, how he did those things. So how and what steps I took to get into alignment with him and that, um, that he taught me personally. I didn't have anybody that I could go to, to be taught from. And every time I tried to do that, he closed the door to that every single time because he wanted me to be simply taught by him. And now he's having me to um, to teach that, okay? And the Holy Spirit is still the captain of that ship. He's still um, the one that's leading that whole thing, okay? Um, not me. Um, anything else, Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit, you're just invited here. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus, I just invite you. Papa, I invite you. There will be nothing without you, and I just love you for everything that you are doing in our lives i love you lord for everything that you have done you are so good and you are so merciful and i just thank you lord forever and ever you will be praised and honored with all the glory amen lord i just thank you um always want to invite them because there i there's nothing without them i'm nothing without them okay I'm nothing even <laughs> with the, I, I'm nothing only in the sense of it's not about me. Okay. All right. So let's go into this. This is called, uh, <laughs> this is called operation clarity. Um, and so how this begins is I woke up from sleep this morning. This is uh, fresh this morning from the Lord. I woke up this morning. Um, and I love, I love this. Okay. Holy spirit. I, I yield to you. I yield to you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit wants me to remind, for anyone who did not see the last video that um, I uploaded, the Lord, I'm trying to get these on Rumble, just by the way, I was doing really great with Rumble there for a minute, and then all of a sudden, it's like every time I try to upload, um, Rumble just kind of freaks out on me and doesn't want to upload anything, and I'm doing it like 10 or 12 times, and then eventually I just say, well, it is not going through so um and i have other things i need to do so that's the issue with that so but it is on youtube i'm gonna try and get this on rumble as well um the ones that don't appear on rumble if i go live on youtube i cannot save them to my device and then upload them on rumble and that's why those aren't there but anyway holy spirit is reminding me to to remind or to tell you freshly about um, the vision that I had the other day, uh, that the Lord gave me that I gave out that word to in regards to, um, some really horrific things. I won't go into detail because Lily's here, but you can also, you can go back and, um, and hear that one for yourself. And it was, um, the, the topic was very, it, it's hard. I mean, it's hard to, to in those visions it's like i experience it in more of a way than like if i was watching it on tv um and it's right up close it's right up close and it's it feels like it's i don't know if i can say it feels like it's kind of like in me but not in me i don't know how to explain it i don't have words to explain that but um it was a harsh matter dealing with children and uh the fate of some children 
um, at the hands of wickedness. Now, I did know to an extent about this. It wasn't like a fresh new thing that I just learned. The thing that, and it was, it's hard and heavy, but the Lord is so good that he doesn't allow the fear or like the disgust of it to bother me. Like it doesn't hurt me. It doesn't feel like, you know, like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be sick or oh my gosh, I'm absolutely horrified. He doesn't allow any of that. He shows me for his purposes. And the heaviness that I was feeling on me was about the word he gave at the end. Um, in regard, even though they, they both were equally horrible, the Lord's not, you know, winking an eye or whatever. At like, oh, well, that's not as bad. No, the thing was, thank you, Holy Spirit. The origin of it was the part that made it, that was really heavy on me. And that was about the shepherds being asleep. Like this would have never happened if the shepherds had not been asleep. And when he said that to me, it really just weighed on me really hard and heavy. I was really just off of social media for the most part um, yesterday also just because, because it was just, it was heavy. Um, but, and God's so good that when I woke up this morning, he gave me this because and I'm like, yay. So <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit just said the old has been washed away. And I just, I really do just thank you for that. Um, you know, again, like I say in the class, choir taught, once we repent for that, I know I repented, Lord, I just, I just repented for the, that, um, that the old has been washed away. Behold, God makes everything new and there's no more condemnation. Um, and so that's what was so wonderful. Okay, so let's begin. Operation Clarity. I woke to begin declaring and dispatching the host of heaven into assignments to help re through help release and rescue, bust and shake down demonic wicked agendas that are holding children hostage. And immediately I went into a vision seeing children huddled together in a large group. It was like a group of them. They were huddled together. The vision then turned and I saw in a back room, off the main room, a child that was being assaulted. The host led, the, uh, the host led in who I believe to be the seals, okay? Um, and I, cause I kept hearing the, the word seals and I knew it was a tactical team. I knew it was in the natural. I knew I was seeing something in the natural. And I kept hearing the name seals. So whether or not it's the seals, I don't know. But I believe that possibly it is the seals because I kept hearing that name. And so, and the perpetrator, I, first of all, I just want to love on the Lord for just a second, Holy Spirit. Because when I wrote this, I wrote this in a way that maybe I wouldn't have written it. Every word was carefully chosen of how I was writing it. Thank the Holy Spirit because he knew that my baby was going to be here. I just love him so much. It's not super graphic or anything. I just thought about that when I'm going to read it. I'm like, ooh, you know, like, oh, wait, yeah, all these words are really clever. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> you know, I didn't say anything that would have been. <laughs> God's so good. He's so good. So anyway, he knows everything. So anyway, the perpetrator was stopped in action. So he was in action with a child. The perpetrator was stopped. The seal had a scope gun on him. It was like they came in. It were like they came in in the cover of surprise and night and everything. He was stopped and had a scope gun on him. And he threatened to use it against him. I mean, I heard the words that were said. And he threatened to use it against him. And told him, you back down. Let that child go now. You know, and he used some, some choice wordage. But anyway, the perpetrator was then taken down and the child was saved. The vision then shifted as I saw myself there and I was dispatching heavenly hosts. I was like, yes, this isn't the first time I've encountered something like this, but um, this is probably maybe the third or in, in with this type of situation, I would say like the third time I've encountered this where I've been there on the scene dispatching the host and seeing it go about. What does dispatching mean? Dispatching is like, uh, it's kind of like a military term. It's like if I dispatch the soldiers, I'm telling them to go forth into their assignment, what, I, what they're here to do. Yeah. And so I was dispatching the host when I looked 
when it looked like what looked like a mantle fell on my shoulders. And I was going to say no, like, no, Lord, because I had already had some. I was going to say no. I was going to say no to the mantle added to the others that were there because of the because it's just extra responsibility, you know, and I'm not saying that I run from responsibility. It's just I have so much. Sometimes I'm just like, I have too much, Lord. I have too much. And then on top of that, with the responsibility of my first ministry, my family, you know, I'm like, I was going to say no. I felt that going to come right out. But the only reason I'm saying this is because of what's going to happen here. But I knew what God spoke to me very clearly last night, Philippians 2 and 4. And because he said that about, do not be so concerned about your own interests. But concern yourself heavily, more so with the interests of others. When he said that, instead of saying, no, I roared. And it was like, like a lion roar. It just came out. I was just raw. And I was turning my head. And as I was turning my head, it was like fire just coming out, sweeping across and going. And that's not just for me. That's for you. Okay? I release that to you. I release that mantle. Who will, who will receive it? That mantle to you to declare, to stand up and to declare Oh, but I don't see it happening. And it just feels silly because I'm at home. Look, I was at home just because you can't see in the spirit. I didn't always, I didn't always see in the spirit. God, I've, I've always had supernatural experiences or seeing the future that would happen. The Lord would show me things that were going to happen in the future and that it would happen that we would call that deja vu. But it was like, I just, it was a knowing. I was like, oh, I know, I know. I've been to the, the this has happened. So don't count yourself as small. Look, go back to the video that the Lord gave me that says you are not as small as you think you are. Okay, go back to that video. You're not as little as you think you are. Go back to that video. Okay, listen to it. Hear the word of the Lord. Philippians 2, 4, look it up. If you can do a cross, if you can do a cross comparative of different, um, what is the Holy Spirit? Of different translations. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Of different translations. Read them all. <laughs> I put some up on social media. I'm going to put it up on YouTube when I get the chance. My phone's completely dead. My, I've been playing Here Comes the Fire Truck by Super Simple Songs a zillion times on repeat for the baby. And it kills my battery. And he just walks around like, yay. And then just throws it somewhere and I have to go find it on a blink. And it's it's about dead. So anyway, I'm going to try and upload it. I say that because my iPad, which I'm recording this on, doesn't let me all the time upload posts to YouTube. So we'll see how that goes. Not supported. So, okay. Back into this, okay. I began calling President Trump into action. I was calling him into action. You come now. You step forward. I was declaring. You step forward. You take your rightful spot. Come. And I heard the Lord declaring over him. Um, And I was going to write what I heard him say, but he ended up speaking instead. And I wrote what he spoke in that moment. Okay. Holy Spirit said, it's the words that I didn't hear is what what he he spoke out loud to me again. So he said, Trump, you are to move. I have placed a key upon your shoulder and a mantle upon your breast. And you shall conquer and rule over evil and take back righteous rule for me, for my nation. My David shall stand with the Joshua's and the Caleb's and with the army of Gideon to bring down once and for all in my nation, the iron curtain of tyranny and communism or tyranny, communism, and wicked, sh- and a wicked shadow governmental rule. For in the final days, I will insert that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When I first heard that, I thought once and for all, because <laughs> Lord didn't, what about uh, the end times? <laughs> is it once and for all? I mean, is this the one page that we're putting in here? Because <laughs> I just want to be clear, you know. <laughs> I'm not above asking Lord. I will ask him all kind of questions. He's my daddy. Why can't I ask daddy a question? He's going to answer me in his lovingly way. And then he, right when I was typing that out, I'm like, that that thought, boom, came in my mind. And he, oh, I can feel his spirit. Lord, I just love you so much. Lord, I just burning. Hallelujah. Burning. Burning. Thank you, Lord. The Lord's, 
Thank you, Lord. I just submit myself to you. I just surrender to you, Lord. Anything you want to say? The Lord is right here, hands upon. His hands are upon me. Thank you, Lord. I just receive from you. I love you so much. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you, Lord. So, boy, the joy of the Lord is here. I release the joy of the Lord to you. I release the joy of the Lord to you. For the final, for in the final days, it shall not be this. Okay? He said in the final days, it won't be, you know, communism and tyranny and a wicked shadow government. It won't be that, is what he said. But the system of the beast who will be lovingly invited in. And my church, my spotless bride will no longer be here. Those who are asleep at that time will have wished they had not been. But we are not within that time realm. Ha! We are not near that time. But I have ordered time. What are you doing, little baby? Hmm? I said we're not near it. No, we're not near it. He said, but I have ordered time. Boy, help me get back on my on where you left me off at. But I have ordered time, and time is within me, saith God. Time is from me, and no one can alter my ordained times and seasons. These days are written about in my floor. And when he said that, I was immediately reminded what Cat Kerr talks about the timeline of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The timeline of God is I don't inscripted is such a poor word it's a poor word to describe I'm just seeing it it's like built into engrafted in to the floor of the throne room his timeline is there it's just it's beautiful it's not like it's not like just like a little handwriting it's not like a scroll that's inlaid it is like something beautiful like like if you think of a stained glass window and how it's just intricately put intricately put together with all those pieces it's just beautiful all these pieces excuse me put together that makes this these prophetic ordained times and seasons like a calendar in his floor it's it's just, it's hard to explain. It's beautiful. Just trust me that it's beautiful. It is. God doesn't do anything shabby. <laughs> it's, it's off the chain. Okay. These prophetic days have been declared about before time even began. Nothing and no one stands a chance against me, says God. No one. I love it. And then I saw. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I didn't. I did forget to put that in there. Thank you, Lord. I began seeing my son. Actually, that is so funny. He's upstairs doing the sound to the show right now that I'm about to talk about. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but my son loves both of my sons. Actually, they love the Octonauts, and it's funny that they're singing the little theme. The sound that they make when they go into action, it's like, right? You know, it's like they're and they're doing work behind the scenes, aren't they? The ones they're the ones who do the work behind the scenes, the turnip things. Trust me, if you ain't seen it, it's hard for me to explain it to you. But it's some little cartoon. It's cute, and they 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 are underwater. They're like the Navy SEALs almost. They're like the Navy SEALs. <laughs> I love God because he he uses the foolish things to confound the wise. Things people be like, guys, I'm talking about some little cartoon show. You better, you best believe he's talking about a cartoon show because you know what? Because God's so good, he knows when he's talking to his children. And I know, I know that show. My they love that show. Me too. Yes, you the first one we showed it to. Yeah. <laughs> Um, they love that show. They grew up, grew up with the, that show. And but what they do is they're underwater, and they they wear like little helmets. They like astronauts, but they're in the water. And, and octonauts happens to be an actual phrase and term, terminology for um, people who 
you know, discover and do things underwater, okay? So the Lord was talking to me about that. Holy Spirit was talking to me about that. And as I was listening to him talking to me about that, I was sensing that there are indeed octonauts going in the water, in the oceans right now, <clears throat> uncovering things, okay? And that's when I saw Trump making moves. And I saw a sea vessel. See how it just go, all goes right together. And when I was saying the seals, all of that, I saw a sea vessel that was uh, that he was piloting. Now, rather this one is in the natural, the supernatural, this part, I don't know. But he was piloting this sea vessel. And I knew he was indeed on the move with covert operations in the least expected places. Remember that the Lord has said, just also prophetic i promise i love that but um the lord has said previously in the supernatural sips i did um and that's all that's posted here but it's posted on social media it's also posted on the app get the app if you can't do anything else get the app because where did you get that okay you can have that get the app because it, it does get updated regularly it has everything on there um, get the app. The only, or if you have Facebook, go on the. It's everything's in the detail description thing on the description box. Thank you, Ms. Bear. Everything's in the description box. If you have Facebook, click the Facebook link. I upload to that often. Okay. Um. Again, it's not for me. You're not patting me. I mean, I'm not being. I mean, it's not a pat on the back. It's none of that. This is just for the word of the Lord. Please understand me correctly. It's not about me. It really isn't. Sometimes I'm just on here looking a straight hot mess. Why? Because God just told me to get on there and do it. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I better just go do it. And not be like, well, Lord, I have to make sure that I know. I'm just going to do what he told me to do. Praise his name. It's all for him. It's all for him. Please understand that it is all for him. I'm doing nothing of this for myself. Like I said before, I don't get financially paid or in any way to do this. I am paid richly by the Lord, okay? And just him being proud of me and being happy with me. That means a lot to me. Okay, we're at the end. Um, so like I was saying, the covert op uh, operations in the least expected places. And I declare, I declare the host to help the children into safety. Not Because I, I, I wrote this part down, so I was declaring in the spirit. And I had what I was saying was I declared for the children to be helped into safety. Not just to re be returned home. But to be careful what we're saying. Because a lot of children, the home that they were in was the home that sold them, okay? So we need to be careful. So I was declaring them to be returned to, uh, to be. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I was declaring for them to be turned over into safekeeping. And but um, and not to just return them home, but to bring them into safety. I also sent a sent a portion of the host to gather up the demonic who who had uh, they had who had powered these people to do such wickedness and to throw those spirits into a dry place that none of them would get away. That is so important. Not only just to go take the, get the children to, to safety, but remember to send the host to heaven to also remove the demonic spirits, okay? To remove the demonic spirits. That's so important and send them into a dry place. That's so important to do that and that none of them would get away. That's important, okay? Does it have to be really, really high? Does it have to be a pit? It's what? Put them in a desert. Well, it's just the dry, the dry places. The 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 host, they know where to take them. I mean, we, you know, a lot of times we say send them to the abyss and this and that. Wherever the Lord wills them to go is where they're going to go. But there's going to be a holding place. Let them not get loose until the time, till the time where the Lord wills it. Check on the little baby. Okay, so God is moving. Don't ever say that He's not. That's right, or that He's asleep, because you'll find out. That it's really you that is not doing anything and that your eyes are the ones that are asleep. I wrote that part at the end because that is so important. That's what was coming to me. And um, the Lord wanted me to sing this. 
Oh, let me get some water. I don't even know all the words. If my mother was here, she would sing it. <clears throat> but this is a song that the Lord has been singing. <clears throat> I've been hearing him sing this song. And it goes, uh-oh, get, get that, baby. It goes like this. If you want to just put it all in here, Lily, and then set it up here, I will help put each of those pieces away. Come here, little bitty. Let me take him for a second. Thank you. Give me a bitty bite. Mm. But it goes like this. <clears throat> Greater is he that is in me, greater is he that is in me, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Satan's like a roaring lion going to and fro, seeking whom he may devour, the Bible tells me so. But God, he's greater than any tongue can tell. He's greater, he's greater. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. There's more words to that song that I don't remember. But the Lord just continues to sing that song. We need to understand that and rise up with joy with joy and thanksgiving and just sing it <laughs> sing it greater is and that's just scripture greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world satan is like a, a roaring lion he's like a roaring lion not that he is one he's like one he's nothing in the sight of the lord he's like a roaring lion going to and fro seeking whom he may devour the bible tells me so but god is greater than any tongue can tell he's greater he's greater greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world we so cute my little bunky thank you so much sweetheart that was beautiful thank you were you singing the song too Thank you. Yes, he is He is greater. And the, we need to get that. Ooh, the fire, God. Woo! It's like fire in my mouth, in my throat. We need to get that down on the inside, all the way in the spirit. Oh, oh, no, no, baby. Don't, I know, don't give him any. Uh-oh, it's okay. Just shut it. It's okay. Don't give him any. Um, oh, my gosh. There's some napkins in the kitchen if you want to grab that baby. Yeah. Um, we need to get that down in our spirit. Oh my goodness. In our soul. That that comes out. You know what's in there when it comes out. How do we know it's this is we're going back to fire taught teaching. How do we know when it's in there? Because what's in you is gonna come out of you. And if what comes out of you is fear and doubt and worry and unbelief and disbelief and dismay and anxiety and you know and woe and sadness and grief you know i've heard a lot of people say well i just i just grieve over over this and over that and over this and over that and over this and you need to lose grief from your soul you need to loose it from your soul you know there's a time to grieve there's time for everything but you need to let it get out like get it out of your soul Loose it from your soul because you can't. Huh? Yeah, you can get them in there. Or maybe just two. That's just that's just not helping. Thank you, baby. Um, it's important to get it out of your soul and to loose it from your soul. Why? Because if you don't, it's gonna stay in there and that's gonna rot. Okay? Grief is not of the Lord. It's not. It really isn't. Here. I'm gonna tell you something right now. That the children who are this is just a word of knowledge right now by the lord sorry Lily, i got the card that the children who are in heaven because of what was done to them here on this earth they not number one are not grieving number two they know the truth of what happened to them whether it be aborted whether they have been sold uh sacrificed lied to you name it born into it just whatever kidnapped sold it would not matter they know the truth what else is the holy spirit 
they forgive everyone involved. Everyone involved. They're, uh, the, the, the assailants are forgiven. Those who sold them, lied to them, tricked them, stole them, kidnapped them. They forgive them, each and every one of them. And number four, they, they declare over each and every one of those people, the people in the organizations, they declare over their salvation. Okay, and number five. Thank you, Lord. They declare the destruction of those organizations, of those leadership, of the, uh, the demonic spirits. They are de they declaring. Okay, they're not in heaven crying. They are rejoicing because they see and know the end. I know that it's sad. I know it is. It's terrible. It's evil. It's horrible. Gag. Oh, anybody can hurt a precious child. It's unbelievable. It's just the devil. And the devil is so hateful. And he hates. Hates. It's okay. He hates God's God's people. He, he hates children because he thinks it's the closest thing to the Lord. Oh, we just we just hurt them, and that'll hurt the Lord, and that'll da 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 da. If you know Kim Robinson, taught, uh, Kim Robinson uh, spoke about um, Jesus sat on a sits on a stump in heaven from time to time, and he cries over the aborted children. You know, um, because their lives were cut short. But even so, Jesus plays with them and loves them. They are so loved. But there will be a time that every tear will be wiped away. God's going to wipe every tear away. But let me also assure you that God knew from the before time, before he, before he even made people, before he even made people, he knew all that was going to happen. Okay, this doesn't take God by surprise. He's not shocked. He's not sitting there. Oh my goodness, he can't see what they've done. <laughs> He's not. He knows every single thing. He knows every single thing. So please be sure of that. Nothing's taking him off guard. Don't do that in the camera, please. Nothing's taking him off guard. And he will avenge every single one. So anyway, Lord, we just thank you. I commit it all to your hand. Lord, is there anything else you need or want from me, Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Healing is coming. 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 You declare your healing. Healing is coming to you, says God. Yes. 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 Hallelujah, Mama. Mama. I know. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look. Look. Hallelujah. Healing is coming. Healing is coming. Supernatural healing is coming. It's coming. It is. It's coming like a freight train. Hallelujah. Barreling down the tracks. It's coming. And it's coming to collide and explode out with its destiny. <laughs> Says the Lord of hosts. What Hallelujah. Is destiny? It's destiny. destiny. Yeah. Jesus. Destiny. Thank you. Hallelujah. That all Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be of good cheer, says God. For I have come. And I shall take the tear off of your cheek. Raise your head, says the Lord. Hallelujah. And make your bed. For I have come, and the, <laughs> your glory light is shining, says the Lord thy God. Amen, amen, amen. Goodbye, all. Shalom. Oh, wait. We're going to be obedient. obedient. 
We are going to be bold. bold for Christ. Don't be cowering back. But that doesn't mean be reckless and rude, okay? It means be bold. <laughs> Boldly stand upon his word and his truth, okay? And we're going to be bold. Blessed. blessed, which be is a state of being. It's a form of being. You are going to be blessed in it's Jesus' a, it's name. A form of being. Amen. That's right. 